Hello and welcome back to Blue Polo Channel. My name is Pascal. Today I am going to do a review of a palette, a glass palette, a tempered glass palette. Uh, it's New Wave, it's Posh, it's called Posh by New Wave. Uh, these are made for, from tempered glass. Uh, they, come in, they come in various sizes. I'm just going to take it out of the packaging first. And uh, it's made of tempered glass, and but it's very thin. So in other words, uh, it's going to be a little, a, a lot lighter than if you bought normal tempered glass, which would be four millimeters. So I'll just take the, I'll just take the cover off it there. Uh, it's got these protectors on the side. You can leave them on it if you like. Uh, so this is a nine by twelve one. Now they come in various sizes. They come in uh, twelve by sixteen and sixteen by twenty, quite large one. Uh, so, uh, it will come in three different colours as well. This is grey. Grey is a very neutral colour if you're painting. Uh, but you can have a clear one and you can also get a white one. So we are going to test this one out. Why would you need glass? Okay, for instance, for oil, if you use acrylic for oil, you cannot clean the palette because you need a blade to clean it. So we will clean this one with a blade, right? So after it's dry, you clean this with a blade. This will fit into the Master Sun's uh, cases. That's the ones where you can keep your paint uh, uh, from drying up and you can go back painting again if you have a Master Sun. So as I said, uh, the, the posh as they call it, uh, it, it uh, is, uh, I will give you an idea how thin it is. It, uh, it's about three and a half millimeters, I'd say, maybe. So the glass is three millimeters according to me <laughs> roughly i didn't put the uh, the vernier on it but it's three millimeters thick uh, these rubber uh, things i would leave them on it but you can take them off but it stops it slipping so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do some painting with it now and we're going to put some paint and mix some paint and maybe paint something and do a bit of drawing or something like that on one of these boards yeah that's not too it's 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 uh it's uh, there's just a little bit of liquid on the very end of it, so we wouldn't worry about that. That's because of the, the end of the thing, but uh, no, that looks fine. I can use my yeah, that's fine. Uh, and then I would I would put some yellow here as well. there's just that little bit of oil that's in it in the beginning but that's okay we will mix that up with a brush now in a moment so uh, how do you apply the, the how do you apply how do you apply medium uh, well when they're in the jar like this you can't pour them out this safety switch on this so what we will do is uh, we will uh, we will I will take a palette knife take a painting knife and I'll just put a little bit of it uh, here Maybe, maybe not quite fifty percent, and then we will we will do the same here on the blue, because it's easier to clean than cleaning the brushes anyway. And I, I'm going to, uh, well, you see, the brush is harder. Now the 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 uh, this should come out really nice now. I not, I didn't put any uh, I didn't put any uh, thinners on this. I, I have turpentine there. Uh, I have some fine turpentine, painter's turpentine there, and uh, but no, no, no need. Uh, no, that looks fine. So yes, it gives it more gloss, all right. So uh, you, you can put it on the paint. This is what it looks like on, on the blue. Looks like on the place by putting a little bit of uh, thinners on it. Yeah, together but what I'm going to do is I'm going to gather them up because I'm been messing there and I have them all spread out so what we'll do is we will gather them up together and uh, we can do this do the other side with the yellow and get it up like that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this yellow and mix it with this and see can we get a nice green and uh, it's not really a nice green it's kind of a never green uh, color there we're getting we can put more yellow in now and see what we can get 
and then we can go down there like that. The green. A little bit more um, of the medium on it now. But I mean, they're very hard. You, maybe you should mix it with the medium with a bigger brush first because uh, it's so delicate. So uh, you know, I'm not to put way too much paint on this now. So I'm going to try and get it off it. And uh, see, I have a shake. So that's my short review on the new wave, uh, the posh uh, palette. The, 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 the glass palette. Yes, it, uh, because as I said, you can't use acrylic with oil, and if you can use the wooden ones, but you're forever cleaning them, or you can just paint over them and throw them away. So this one is probably more environmentally friendly than keep throwing away the wooden ones. We can just clean this off. But you should only put out as much paint as you're going to use. I'm demonstrating here now. So, thank you very much for watching, and if you like this video or any of our other videos, uh, Please subscribe.